What's up everyone? Welcome back to Train Sim and we are going to be on the Miami to West Palm Beach route today doing a daylight Q492 run with an SD80 MAC leader. It's a quiet Sunday morning and manifest train number Q452 is running nearly 12 hours late but that's good news for rail fans because this daylight move also features a lash up of five locomotives with an SD70 or SD80 Mac leading. Let's go ahead and hop in the scenario and let's check it out. Good morning Q452, you're cleared on to track 2 all the way to Sheridan with no delay and Amtrak train will be following behind you shortly. Dispatcher out. Sounds like a plan. So we do got our 4598 and then our 4590 and then three other locomotives, three SD80 Max on point which is weird. I thought they just meant we had the single one but we got three of them on the point today with an SD42 I believe. Yeah, SD40-2. Nice lash up. Very nice lash up. All right, in the cab, here we go. Let's actually turn on the cab light here because it is a uh, super dark. We got the headlights. One of these switches has to be a cab light. Wipers, no. Cab light, there we go. Doesn't really do much. Let's go ahead and release the brake. Set you into that forward. And let us embark on our journey here. We do got marker lights, which is really cool. Only thing I don't like about it is the very long horn. That's the only thing I don't like about it. So we do got quite a long train here today. So we got perfect five, uh, five locomotive lash up here just to help us get through the thing and we do got 17 miles to go about 18 or so to new river draw bridge approach so we're gonna have to quickly get out of the yard here so we don't keep the amtrak train delayed but hopefully you guys are having a good tuesday so far very good start to your guys' week and all that fun stuff i do want to apologize it has been a hectic week uh last week with the steam next fest going on i've literally sat here and recorded a whole bunch of demos throughout the week didn't really have time to actually make content or anything or like I've made it but I haven't had time to like edit or anything like that so I do want to apologize for that daily upload should start back up today uh, along with a whole bunch of new games and stuff that we are gonna be checking out on the channel kind of funny though the literally I did not was not able to record all of the demos I wanted to in time so the event did end yesterday at 10 p or 10 a.m. Pacific time so before I even turned my computer on to finish because I was on call yesterday and they didn't need me so I went back home but I ended up unplugging the Ethernet cord from my PC in order to finish recording the uh, videos I had like three left that I wanted to take a look at so it was kind of uh, kind of it kind of came in clutch a little bit. It really did. So we do have quite a few uh, demos to look at, and then a whole bunch of other demos that I have not touched yet that we are going to be taking a look at here soon as well. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, Steam Next Fest was fun, man. There was a lot of demos I played. You know, made made a lot of nice, a uh, lot of cool content. Some of them that I played, you know, I wasn't really into, so those videos got scrapped. And some demos I played, the actual game was bugged, so we decided to just scrap those as well. Unfortunately, but it is what it is. And that is actually one of the nice things about the Steam Next Fest, is that if you have like a bunch of games on your wish list, you can actually take a look, you know, most of them are going to be there. You can take a look at them, see if you like them, and then if you don't, you know, just take them right off your wish list, or... If you like them, keep them there, and you might find, you know, some more games to add to your wish list. I know I did. There's quite a few that I did not have on there that I added because they seem like really cool games. You know, that is one of the nice things about Steam Next Fest is that you can try out all these new and cool games. Can't tell if that's a stop for us, but I don't think it is. It's not. But yeah, 4598, 4590, then we have a AC66, I believe, is what that is. 
Or is that just the... No, that's not... Because that's not the Miami Dash 8. That's it's definitely not. If only we could be driving the SD40, though. I would like to... I would actually like to drive that instead. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, no, that is not our signal. So we are good. We are good. Let's go ahead and throttle it up here a little bit more. But man, let me tell you, I am honestly getting sick and tired of Railworks. And I just don't know what's been going on with it. But it seems like I have been getting a lot of out-of-memory errors and stuff with the game. And I don't even have that much stuff in. Like, I don't have that many, like, mods in or anything. The majority of it is from the Steam Workshop. But I have been... Pretty much anytime I do a scenario and I finish it, I will, you know, unsubscribe from it just to kind of, you know, keep the memory at a low, you know, thing. I know I do have quite a few scenarios in and stuff, but I mean, I've just been getting a lot of memory errors. I was actually supposed to be doing something on the Marias Pass for today's video where I had like a scenario all planned out and you know I swapped out the lead locomotive and stuff because I didn't want to run a Jeevo and I was look you know look checking out a sound set that uh, one of my friends had sent me and it turns out that I had everything good to go tested out everything seemed to be working and then as soon as I went to go make the video it would just you know freeze on uh, on the uh, loading screen and it would not respond and then I'd go back in the game and then there'd be an out of memory error and then it was just it literally took me 30 minutes it's before I just you know said screw it and I was gonna go play a different game but then I realized that Steam is in offline mode so a lot of my other games don't work so we are back here playing Railworks finally found a scenario that works so we are now playing on CSX instead of BNSF But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or if you guys know what's causing the game to be stupid like that, please let me know in the comment section down below because I honestly have no idea. And it is really frustrating as a content creator when your, you know, stuff doesn't work. That nice little you know, X FedEx step van over there. that thing looks really cool. Oh, I don't remember. Was that a quiet zone? I thought I thought I seen an X underneath it, but I couldn't remember if that meant quiet zone or if that meant multiple crossings. Because there is another crossing up here. It looks like. Alright, we're going through some sort of station right here. It looks like it's Opalaka, or however you pronounce it. But yes, if you guys do know about, you know, how to fix Railworks so that it doesn't freeze on, you know, loading up a scenario or out of memory without having to basically verify the game files, do let me know in the comment section down below. I would greatly appreciate it. I do want to apologize. I know this is not going to be a realistic scenario due to the... For some reason, they decided to make this horn like super, super long, and I have no idea why. So I do realize it's not going to be an accurate, you know, crossing sequence. So I do apologize for that.
We're going to try our best to uh, make it realistic as possible, though. But, you know, sometimes Railworks just, you know, they don't know what they're doing. And I'll just, you know, point that out right now. But, but yeah, it is frustrating, though, you know, having your game, you know, all set up. And then next thing you know, oh, yeah, we're just going to break on you. So it is what it is, man. It is what it is. You know what would have been nice since they have this like long horn on this locomotive was like what they did on the uh, P-42s is have a crossing sequence so you could do like your long long short long that would have been super nice to have on this locomotive considering how long the horn loop is on it but that's just my two cents dovetail ain't gonna listen it is what it is <laughs> it it is what it is we are coming up here on 46 miles an hour, so we're going to start throttling this uh, train down. Before we hit that 60, which we're about almost three-fourths of the way through for that 60. So we should be all good. Yep, train is slowing down now. Do, do you got another cross? No, that is a bridge. That is a bridge. But I do got some big news in my life. I am officially in a new relationship. And let me tell you, I am very happy and very excited that I did find this girl. Her name's Lauren, and she lives about, about an hour away from me, so it's not too bad. So I'm very excited to, you know, start this new chapter in my life and, you know, get to see where things go with her. So I'm very, very excited. We're actually going to hang out uh, Thursday. Um, we're going to go on our technically official first date but it's technically our second date because we already went on a f kind of a first date really wasn't a date kind of sort of thing she had just gotten off work and i told her i'd take her out for some food and stuff for dinner but we're gonna try to make this one our like official uh first date so oh, this platform's empty look at that ain't nobody getting on at this platform oh nope, there's people so yeah, I'm super excited to start this new chapter in my life. And the cool thing is, was she told me that she don't mind me, you know, doing content creation and streams and stuff. And that she would actually, you know, join in on them. So that would be uh, cool to see. So if you guys do see me doing some streams out on Twitch or even on YouTube of like certain games that I wouldn't normally play. Just know that I'm playing them with her. And if you guys do ever want to chill out. And whatnot, I do got the links for the Twitch and stuff in the description, as well as my Twitter, TikTok, all of that good stuff. Everything is in the description. So if you guys do want to, you know, follow me, add me on there, whatever, all of it is right there. So, going along with, you know, the new relationship and stuff, um, my ex. Now, I don't really want to talk about her. I don't really want to get into it. But I just feel like it's something that I just, you know, need to get off of my chest. And I've already told, you know, Lauren about it and stuff. And she uh, she basically just told me what I was already going to do and just block her. But she has trying to constantly make me jealous over the last couple weeks because she got into a new relationship. Now, she was basically flaunting him every chance that she can. She was posting on Facebook after two weeks of talking to him and, you know, going out that she loves him already and stuff like that. And the funny thing is they actually broke up about a week and a half after that. So, so I guess it is what it is. But the thing with that is now, ever since I made the relationship Facebook official... And everything. I guess I've had a friend told me that she was posting on her Snapchat story, uh, listening to breakup songs and crying, saying that she misses me and stuff. And it's just kind of like, you know, sorry, not I'm like, I'm like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry, you know. 
it's my turn to move on. I got to find somebody else. You seem to have done the same, but didn't work out for you. And I find hopefully found someone that'll work out for me. So, I mean, it is what it is. It's, it's life. <laughs> it is what it is. But, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just... It's, it just doesn't make much sense to me, you know. She's sitting there, you know, saying that uh, I was a bad boyfriend, fiancé, whatever. And then, you know, she treated me like absolute garbage. And then she goes to find somebody else, breaks up with them, and then she cries over me. Just, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But, yeah, I was actually, the first time I met her for uh, dinner when I picked her up from work... I was on my way to her work and she actually calls me as soon as I get in the parking lot and I'm sitting there like what on earth do you want and that was when she told me that those two broke up and she wanted me to come over and I'm just like no that's not happening I'm on a date right now and when I told her that she kind of got a little sad so I don't know I'm not trying to be rude or nothing but I do have my own goals. I have my own dreams. And I'm trying to work towards them. And it, it just seemed like she was holding me back. Like I could not do anything. I couldn't do, you know, YouTube. I couldn't go hang out with friends or nothing. It just seemed like anything I wanted to do, she would hold me back and say, you don't need to do this, you don't need to do that, blah, 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 blah. At least with Lauren, you know, I told her about YouTube and Twitch and stuff. And, you know, she said she'd support me 100% of the way. And that, you know, she joined me, if anything, and she actually said that she wanted to start making TikToks with me. So, like, I mean, that's pretty much a good, you know, a good step in the relationship is to where she wants to, you know, help you follow your dreams by, you know, helping or basically helping you follow your dreams by becoming, you know, a full-time content creator. By helping you, you know, that's a good sign. And plus, she actually has her own dreams, too. Her dream is to, she, so she works at Krispy Kreme. She's one of the managers there. And one of her dreams is to actually become the GM of that Krispy Kreme or open up her own Krispy Kreme or open up her own donut shop, which we've kind of, you know, been talking about the last couple days. So, I mean, she does have her own hopes and dreams too, so which is good in a relationship. You know, if her and I stick with each other by our side, you know, she helps me with mine. I help her with hers. You know, that, that, that's a good basis of a relationship. You know, you stick with each other through and through no matter what happens. And you help each other out achieve your goals and stuff. That That's something I needed in a relationship. And that's something Kayla would never do. Especially since, like this job at Amazon, she told me I needed to quit my job at Amazon because it didn't... Because she ended up getting a night shift job at Walmart and she says that my job was getting in the way of her doing her job. Which really made no sense. But it is what it is so luckily I'm out of that relationship and into a new relationship and I really do hope that this one does go you know somewhere and I hope she lasts I really really do so if you guys do see somebody else on you know talking or something or if you guys see somebody else on stream it's most definitely Lauren so can't wait for you guys to meet her either I'll probably have her you know on TikTok or something or maybe even in a video but I can't wait for you guys to meet her I'm very excited <laughs> I really, really am. Also, this month was actually, the month of February, was two years since I had actually last spoken to my father. So right now, I currently do live a block away from him. Unknown if he actually knows I live a block away from him or not. But that doesn't really matter to me. Um, but yeah, it's just... Oh, we are speeding. We are speeding. I did not even notice that 45 on my screen. <laughs> I did not. Wait, we're in emergency. Why are we in emergency? Oh, this is... Oh, okay, I... Okay. I... Okay. See, this... These, these are the breaks that I'm talking about where Dovetail did not actually you know put any effort into their physics because as you can see nothing in the cylinder nothing in the pipe so you're pretty much just guesstimating except what you see on the screen over here but you're pretty much just guesstimating where your pipe and your or where your pipe and your cylinder are 
which I think is kind of stupid that they don't have it posted on here. They were just, you know, too lazy to actually do it. But yeah, I think these were both quiet zones, so I'm not too worried. So yeah, we pretty much just got to figure out where our brake pipe and cylinder is, even though it does say it on there. But yes, it, it is stupid. It is stupid. But going back to it, yes, I do live a block away from him. Do I care if he, if he knows? Not really. I mean, if he doesn't want anything to do with me and he wants to hold the grudge this long, you know, just let, I'm just going to let him. He always did tell me when I was, you know, living with them and growing up with them and stuff that I'd be nothing without him. Which turned out to be untrue because I became one of the top drivers at my job. I'm a trainer at my job and possibly about to, you know, become a dispatcher slash management position. So I'm super happy about that. But I also did learn a lot of life lessons the past two years of not speaking to him. So this one is a quiet zone. So, but yes. So I have not spoken to my dad in two years, knowing that he didn't like my ex. And I guess I, I, guess I could kind of say he was right. I, I guess. But yes, I have not spoken to him in two years and... You know, it's been, I don't want to say it's been a rough two years, but it's just, it's just kind of like mind boggling to the fact of he's held a grudge this long against his only child and he still is holding a grudge, but I don't know, I don't know. I guarantee you he probably still watches my videos too, because he used to watch them all the time when I was living with him, so, who knows, who knows, if you guys are enjoying the video so far, please make sure you guys hit the like button, and that subscribe button with the bell icon, it looks like we got an approach signal, so we're going to start slowing down here, because I don't know if we're coming up to a stop signal or what the deal is, so I'm not going to go ahead and request to stop at signal at danger, until we actually get an accurate uh, reading about what we're actually going to. So we'll just kind of slowly coast into this next signal here. But yeah, we did get another ice storm, like ice snowstorm on Thursday. And then, of course, this week it's going to be all in the fit 40s, between the 40s and the 60s all week. So go figure, Illinois. Go figure with your weather. But it was fun, you know. The roads weren't too bad. Just, you know, it was fun getting hit with ice pellets that were, you know, coming out of the sky. While you're trying to work. But it wasn't too bad. Amazon did kind of, quote-unquote, reduce the routes. Which means they made them smaller. But if you're an Amazon driver, you know when they say they reduce the routes... They're not really any smaller. And what I mean by that is... I pretty much had 10 stops less than a normal route to where I'm at. But where I deliver to... It is about a 25 minute drive from the northern tip all the way down to the southern tip. But Q452 will be crossing over to track 1 at Fort Lauderdale, Main 2 South. Don't exceed 45 on the crossover. Dispatch route. Copy that. Understood. Dispatcher crossing over... Main 2 at Fort Lauderdale, Main 2, no, not exceeding 45 mile an hour here out of Sheridan. But yes, yeah, so it's about 25 minutes going from the very north to the very south. Which of course this route went from the very southern part to the very eastern part, to the very northern part, and then to the very western part. So granted it was a small, a little bit of a smaller route, but they give you more drive time into those routes depending on you know, what type of route you have. So it was definitely not a fun time. Well, I mean, it was a fun time, but it wasn't a fun time. You know, I know, I don't, I was really expecting them to actually close it down, but I'll take the reduced routes and, you know, my boss was actually nice enough to let us start earlier. So we ended up starting about two hours earlier than normal. And of course, you know, this week I'm back on a morning shift. So that's actually really nice. 
get home, you know, at a decent time again and then have fun, you know, just have the ap afternoons and evenings to myself. So, Fort Lauderdale, Main 2 South, diverging over to track 1 is what they said. So we got a diverging approach, not going above 45 mile an hour on the crossovers. Uh, oh, I don't know what that is. I don't know what the double approach is, but I know that they said we're diverging, so we'll... They said 45, so we'll just kind of go about 35. We got a whistle post coming up as well. So, we're pretty much right at our destination. So we have about three miles till the New River Drawbridge, which I'm assuming we're going to be waiting on a uh, ship or something because the bridge is going to be up. Oh, look at that little airplane right there. So you'll be, divert you'll be diverting to the Anglers Avenue lead to go over the New River Drawbridge. Expect to hold short of the bridge to let the Amtrak pass on the main line. Spatch her out. Understood. Understood. So we're not waiting on a ship, we're actually waiting on Amtrak to pass. Which, I don't see why Amtrak just can't take this track over here. We go forward, Amtrak takes this track, and then we just go right back in behind them. But it is what it is. Unless there's something broken down over here, I don't know. But if you guys have been following current events, and you know I don't like to be political on this channel... I like, I want this channel to be basically a gateway to get away from all the political stuff and, you know, all the stuff that's happening in the world right now. But some crazy stuff is happening between Ukraine and Russia. A lot of people are saying it's a possible World War III, hoping that it doesn't really get into that uh, stage. But, you know, if it does, it does. I am signed up to be in the draft because I, I have to since when I turn 18. So if it does come to that, your boy might have to get drafted. Hopefully it doesn't, but you never know. You never know. But apparently I did find out that Putin has been planning this since Obama was in office. And then wouldn't act on it when Trump was. And then now that Biden's in office, here we go, taking over Ukraine. And stuff. It's just crazy, man. It really, really crazy. I've seen videos and stuff of them just, you know, running random civilians off the road, crushing them with tanks, and just, you know, throwing bombs anywhere and everywhere they can. It's, it's crazy. It really, really is. Kind of a sad situation to be in. See, look at that airplane taking off. But it's kind of a sad situation to, you know, just kind of see and, you know, see what's going on and everything in the world. And then now China's trying to invade Taiwan. And, you know, North Korea fired a missile, apparently. And then Iran's now getting involved. So, it's crazy. It's crazy what this world's coming to. And then, of course, out of all this, you don't hear anything about COVID. Seems like COVID's just over, and now we switch over to World War III. I don't get it. I really don't. But we are stopping here, so we got about a mile and a three quarters to stop. So, anglers sighting something is where we're going. But yeah, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. I know it was a little bit of a short run, but I just kind of wanted to get some updates out and all that. I know I'm going to try to fix that scenario on the Marias Pass so that we can do that next time. And I still have the, you know, the CP Alder side route to look at and everything. So I'm hoping that I can get all this stuff fixed. I don't know, but I'm hoping that I can get the scenarios working so that I can actually make content with them. I don't know if I'm going to have to basically just uh, unsubscribe and then resubscribe to it and see what happens. Because, like I said, I did add a different locomotive and stuff. So we shall see. 
we shall see what happens. Got our train following us back there, going into the siding here. Stopping here at the uh, New River Drawbridge. All right, Spatcher Q452. You are clear through the Anglers Avenue Industry lead. Stop short of the drawbridge signal and wait further instructions. Press tab to continue. Copy that, stopping short of the drawbridge signal. You know, for some reason I have, I'm have i having a little bit of a deja vu moment right here because I feel like I've played this scenario before on the channel, but I don't remember ever playing it on the channel. But for some reason I feel like I have. Now if this track actually goes underneath something and then the two main tracks are actually like to the right of us and we're underneath or something then I can say we've actually played this scenario already or I have at least I don't remember if I did it on the channel or not but this is actually a steam workshop I believe scenario so I don't remember actually doing it so we have approved on this one So I wonder where that Amtrak is. Amtrak's taking a while to get up to us here. So we're approved to, uh, to a, uh, pass this one. Which I don't see why this one's a stop signal. We are clear of the main line. We're clear of everything. So the only thing we probably won't be clear of is those switches to the yard, which is fine. We ha I have played this scenario before because this is what I was talking about where it separates and then there's the bridge. So, yep. I have played this one before. <laughs> I don't remember if I did it on the channel, but I have played this one before. But we have an approach. They want me to stop shy of the signal, but we have an approach signal. So I don't understand where you want me to why you want me to, you know, stop over here unless you're gonna give me a stop signal. New River Drawbridge approach south. Yeah, that's where we are. So let's go ahead and just start stopping right here. We're not going to see the Amtrak since, you know, we're kind of covered here with this bridge, but we're going to stop just shy of the signal here. You know, we were slowing down so well, and then, of course, once we actually get into now, it's like, nope, we're going to take it's we're going to take our sweet time to slow your train down. And it's, we're not even going to stop. Are you kidding me? Really? Now you're just going to take your sweet old time to stop. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. We do got cap signaling, even though it doesn't work on this route. Well, we passed the signal, which we weren't supposed to do, but the train decided that it doesn't want to stop in time because the brakes are faulty on this locomotive. Thanks, Dovetail. I wonder if that'll do anything. We start putting it in dynamic, maybe. It's starting to slow down. Oh, 
Almost. We're right on the bridge. Cool. Finally. Coming to a stop. Reverser in neutral. And we have completed the scenario successfully. Alright guys, well that is going to go ahead and do it for this one. Hopefully y'all enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.